These days, consumer electronics like smartphones, tablets and laptops even are seen as having a good shelf life if they last for two, three, four years. But that wasn't always the case. For example, this MacBook laptop is over seven years old, but it still works. The problem, however, is that unlike this new MacBook Pro, it just doesn't work very well. The problem is down to the hardware and it's using obviously an older processor and also it's got very limited RAM. But, unlike today's modern laptops, there is something we can do about it. And today we're going to be looking at upgrading the RAM from 1GB to 4GB, which should make a huge difference in the performance of the laptop and give it a new lease of life, hopefully. The first step we need to take in upgrading any RAM is to check out your system's configuration. So the easiest way to do that is to check out the About My Mac section, which is available from the Apple menu on the top left-hand corner of the desktop. Uh, by clicking on more info, we can see exactly how much RAM is installed and how much we're um, able to install. So as we can see here, um, we've got one gigabyte of memory installed, which most top-end smartphones have two gigabytes, which just shows you exactly how old this laptop is. So once we uh, know what we've got installed, the next step we need to do is to find out how much we can actually install. So the easiest way to do that is to go to a website called crucial.com which uh, sells uh, RAM and it will allow you to download and install a piece of software which uh, will tell you, scan your system and tell you exactly how much RAM you have installed and how much you were able to upgrade to. So once we've done this on this laptop we found out uh, this has two RAM slots and each can take two gigs of RAM which means that um, we now know which type of RAM we want and how much uh, we can install. So the next thing to do, of course, is to try and buy the RAM. So we were able to find this RAM we're, the four gigs of RAM we we're looking for on Amazon for £37 here in the UK. Um, and a couple of days later, this is what we've got. So this is what you're going to end up getting. As you can see, each of these pieces of RAM has got two gigs each. Um, and the next step, of course, is to install it. Before we start, what you need is, obviously you need your RAM. You need a small Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the brackets in the laptop. And most importantly, you need a coin. You need a coin because the first thing you need to do is remove the battery. And that's done on the back of the uh, MacBook. As you can see here, there's a lock and unlock logo so what you do is you simply screw it to the unlock position with the coin and you'll see that the battery just pops up and can be taken out quite easily. So what you're presented with here is a compartment which allows you to access the hard drive and the RAM. We're not going to touch the hard drive today um, but what we are going to do is try and upgrade the RAM. Now the first thing we need to do in order to get access to it is to unscrew two Phillips head screws keeping the bracket in place. So once all the screws have been loosened, you should be able to quite easily remove the bracket and just be careful to keep all the screws with it so that they're not lost. Now, what you can see here is that there's two memory slots and two levers coming out of these. Now, what these two levers do is that these are used to remove the RAM that's in there. Now, you do need to give this quite a bit of a push, but there you go. That's some of the old memory, which is just half a gigabyte in size, which isn't really much at all. So that's one side, and let's try the second one, and that pops out quite easily as well. So there you go, there are the two. So, the last thing left to do is to install the new RAM. So let's take it out of its packaging. And as you can see, it's the exact same size as the old RAM. So there shouldn't be a problem in terms of fitting it. Now, you'll see that there's two notches uh, on either side. So they go towards the outside. And you'll also see that there's a little notch here, just at the bottom. and as there's a little diagram here so that you're not, um, that you don't go wrong. 
and that goes to the right hand side so that as you can see there's a little label here that goes face down so what you do is you simply slide the ram into place and just by pressing with all fingers across make sure you kind of press nice and evenly so that it fits into place you'll, you'll, you'll feel it slot into place and that's it all you need to do now is reassemble everything and turn on your PC so just by checking um, our about this Mac system again, we can see that there we can see four gigabytes of RAM has been registered, which means the system has been updated. Now, it's quite difficult to show you immediately what this will difference this will make to your system, but moving from one gigabyte of RAM to four gigabytes of RAM will make an incredible difference in terms of speed, in terms of web browsing, opening different applications at once. And what it really shows is that even though this laptop is seven years old, just with a little bit of effort and a small investment in terms of money, you can really bring a laptop back to life. There are other tweaks you can make in terms of software, but in terms of hardware, this is the best thing that you can possibly do. Thanks for tuning in. I'm David Gilbert, technology editor with the International Business Times. And for all your news and reviews, make sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.